you're watching your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel. Hey, this is like your Fast Life, which is like totally a motorcycle channel, like on YouTube. And like, I was just making fun the other day of how some, some people keep using the word like a million times. It's insane. Like, 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 stop saying it. Anyway, it's Friday and we're going to have a little bike talk. And today I wanted to talk about the Ronin 47 motorcycle. Is it a scam? Take a look. Just a little, little brief little thing here. I just went in there and I had to do it. Part of their so, link to the full video is in the description. But this bike is basically. If you guys are familiar with the Buell motorcycles, remember Buell? Well, Buell had a motorcycle called the 1125R, and this bike is basically, uh, I guess you could consider it a custom uh, 1125R, which is going to cost you uh, considerably more than the price of a Ninja H2. I think it's in the realm of thirty thousand or more dollars for this thing thirty thousand dollars what are you getting for that money so that's the question is it a scam people have been complaining and saying not complaining but people you know saying oh it's a scam they the, so here's the here's the deal did these guys simply go and bargain bin basement shop the eleven 25 R's that were being sold at a great discount when they were being phased out. So did they go do that, buy these things dirt, dirt cheap, did some quick modifications to them, mostly visual. As you can see, the radiator. Look at that, man! Looks like it would be perfect on a futuristic sci-fi movie with uh, Tom Cruise. What happened to Tom Cruise? Does he, does he do movies anymore? Anyway, so they did all those custom modifications. They're only going to build 47 of these, so you're going to have the privilege of being one of 47. So it's a very, very uh, unique motorcycle. The odds of bumping into another one is very unlikely. But what are you really getting for your money? It's a lot of money for this bike. The uh, the the Buell bikes were I think about a little over eleven thousand dollars. So what are you getting for the extra money? Here's the bike, by the way. This is a Buell eleven twenty five. Oh, the Buell eleven twenty five R. So you can see some of the similarities. If you're looking at the frame, which is the main thing that one of the, one of the main things they wanted to focus on uh, the design of the bikes that he really liked the, the the frame of the bike. Didn't like too much the plastics. So as you can see, you see that, look at that, look at that. And you can see, look at that, look at that. And you can see also the uh, swing arm in the back there. So very, very close, very, very similar. But uh, a couple of changes. I mean, uh, let's see. Not as much, uh, you know, body panels and stuff like that. And then, of course, the radical radiator. Let's see what's going up with the tank. Tank? Eh. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? You see the brakes, of course. There's the classic fuel. Anyway, so what do you guys think? Is this a scam? Did they, did they they're trying to make a quick buck here? You know, I mean, uh, again, buying these things at a discounted rate and then selling them at an extreme uh, premium just based on, uh, you know, oh, it's one of 47 on uh, you know, I, I don't know. What do you guys What do you guys think? Go ahead and comment below. Let me let you know what you think about it. Also, there was some comments made about the whole Ronin thing. I believe Ronin coming from Samurai. Yeah. So someone someone's commenting that you know Samurais are overrated. And for your history buffs, you might tend to agree with that potentially because uh, you know outside of the you know, all those, you know, Japanese movies where, you know, you have all these, uh, samurai shop, you know, they, they make the ninja and the samurai out to be these invincible guys that can just do all this crazy stuff, but historically speaking, samurai may not be I mean, as impressive as, as uh, they're made out to be in the movies. Anyway, that's besides the point. What do you guys think about this bike? Go ahead. 
click on the link in the description to watch the full video to learn more about it and then uh, you know let me know what you think about this bike would you pay over thirty thousand dollars for this bike and do you think it's a scam or is it legitimate is it a legitimate thing we know that you know uh, limited production bikes is going to be an automatic uh, premium you're going to pay for something like that however you know I can't just go and uh, take a Ninja 636 and spend three hundred dollars customizing it and only do five bikes and then charge a hundred thousand dollars for you know I mean unless it's like you know real diamonds all over the handlebars or something ridiculous like that I don't think anyone really cares that I only made five of them you, you have to still you can't just go based on the limited supply and then charge whatever you want you know there's only so much premium you can get from the limited supply and then the rest of the cost has to come from the actual utility what does this thing do for the money now Jay Leno seems to like the bike but is the you know whatever he likes on the bike worth 30,000 he wasn't even that uh, you know descriptive in terms of it's so fast or the brakes are like nothing I've ever felt before I mean he was like the brakes work it doesn't overheat I mean, isn't that what a normal bike should do? I mean, is that the, oh yeah, I'm, it's well worth the 30000 because, you know, you're getting a bike with brakes that work and it doesn't overheat. Unlike most other bikes. Hmm. Comment below, guys. Love to hear your feedback. AK Deluxe Rider, Perico Suave, Death Stalker R. I want to hear all you guys' feedback. Mr. Asshole by Nature 1. And Chris Carter, every single one of my loyal subscribers who has a comment on this, who has a, uh, I, don't, I don't want to hear what you guys think. Give me your feedback. Continue the discussion. And happy Friday. Ride safe this weekend. And uh, I will see you guys next week. You are watching your fast motorcycle channel. And I am out. Welcome aboard. This is your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel, and this is my rider training series, CPRT, brought to you by my main channel, Carlisle's Picks. That's why it's called the Carlisle's Picks Rider Training Series, where I'm going to teach you everything you need to know how to ride a motorcycle and how to have a great time doing it, a great time learning how to do it safely.